Okay, my friends, we are now in Hawaii. And where are we? Well, we're in one of their volcano areas. And what is this? And what is this? And what is this? Well, they would say this is all magma. These are all magma floors. Let's consider that. Why is this color so obviously different than this and different than this? What's going on with that? I believe this is the central core radiating out the reddest of the redness. And this is the runoff of this very red. All right, it's just sort of running off. Now, this is the crater rim. This section here has dropped. This is quite clearly some different material than its neighbors. Now, if this was a volcanic layering, they'd all be the same. They wouldn't, you wouldn't have this. It just wouldn't be this way. You would not have this orange blob right in the middle of the black little stripes. You say, well, that's it. That's one. That's another, 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 another. I say no. I say this is biology. And this is too. This is basically like these layers of tissue. All layer, 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 layer. Now, this is, they all turn black because it's in a vein area. Hmm. All right, everything is biology. That's just the way it is. And that is a blood supply feeding this, which at one time was muscle or something. This is basically the same thing. It's tissue layers. Layer, 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 all over the place. You see that brown spot right there? That's basically what we got here. And it's bleeding a little bit into here and so forth. But they'll have these brown spots here and there because they have to have be surfaced with red blood. And the red blood is right there. And again, this is down in um, Hawaii. You see all the black? We know we're, we're, we're mud fossil people. We understand this. The black is the vein blood, basically. The red is the artery blood. And you see our, over here? Why is this red over here? What's going on with that? Why would that be so red? And flowing like. Red blood flows very easily. Now, this pattern here is something to do with... Uh, Google Earth, but it is clearly running red blood out of here that does not mix with the black. They stay completely separate. And you can see, it's quite easy to see this. It's not a mystery here. And this whole area here is a seam of biology of one sort or another. I'm not exactly sure what exactly it is. I haven't dug deep enough yet to make any determination, but I can tell you one thing for sure. Absolutely no question in my mind whatsoever. This is biology. Wow. <laughs> that looks like an eyeball. That looks like an eyeball. <laughs> you can be fooled easily on this thing. That looks like the guy's head. His hair is running over here. <laughs> you know, you got to pay attention. You know, things look like things. You got to pay attention to the details. You wouldn't have a head looking upside down over here. And it's a, this, this whole thing is one thing. Something's going on with this whole ridge here. Now, I got to look into it. I, I, somebody said there was like 500 islands. Now, does it all come all the way out to here? And is this part of it? Does it come down to here? We all know Scorpius over here. This is pretty interesting looking, <laughs> whatever it is. That looks like some kind of structural thing. All right, this is in Hawaii. There's literally blood running out of the mountains and the hills. It's all over the place. Nobody put that red in there. 
This is just basically red blood, this whole area. And um, that's just the nature of biology. You're going to have different types of biology here and different types there. You're going to have layers here and layers there. Depends on what kind of a creature it was. You might have scales. I don't know if these are scales or not. I don't know what. You know, somebody's got to really look at this deeply. I think they might very well be scales. You see them everywhere on Earth. And this is a very strange construction here. I, you know, but I can tell you right now, that is just nothing more than red blood. And this is the product of red blood is very, very, very green stuff. Now, is the blood coming from here going that way? I would suspect it is. This is 1,465 meters. This is 1,390. So the red blood, there's a, a, an area here that's high up and has a lot of red blood in it. And that red blood is running down here, making this stuff grow extremely green. This whole area here is just like this area here. It's just all tissue that's starting to erode. And everywhere it erodes, you see how green it is surrounding it? Look at how green that is. Isn't that amazing? And that's because it's, this is very, very fertile flesh. Whatever, whatever creature this was, it was very fertile and fleshy. And it's, uh, it's edible for plants. You know, these are the kind of crazy things. They call this flat irons. This is a dragon laid wide open. That's his last meal right there, I think. And uh, the guy that presented this is standing down here somewhere. He's like a little pebble down here. And wondering about this. And I asked him about this. I said, well, it's just flat irons. They're everywhere. I said, I know, but they're dragon scales. The whole earth at one time, there was dragons everywhere. Just a fact. And... Um, you know, that's why they think I'm crazy, because I talk about this stuff, and people, they, 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 their mind turns off instantly. <sighs> you know, everybody thinks I'm crazy talking about dragons and blood running out of the mountains and decomposing bodies and everything's made of biology. Well, I'm telling you right now, that didn't just happen from erosion. All right, and it's laid wide open. This they call it the Sawtooth Mountains or something. They're huge, absolutely enormous. There's a guy standing down here. I think he's like a little tiny dot on here, doing a drone picture of this. And he does. This means nothing. As a geologist, he's looking at this, saying this really has some kind of significance. I said, "What about this?" He said, "Well, oh, those, those are everywhere. They're flat irons." I said, "Yeah, but they're dragon scales." And of course. That was the end of that discussion. <laughs> it's time to just wake up and see what's just laying on the ground. I've shown Typhon. I've shown tickets of Coatl. I've shown everything, 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 everything. And if somebody pays a little attention to this, they really cannot miss it. It's paying attention to it. That's the problem. All right. I love you all. Thank you. Bye.